we can proceed into the three types of log questions in SPM. Okay, so the three types of popular log questions in SPM are this one, the first one, express. Second one is solve for the value of x. And then the third one is also solve for x, but it involves the change of basis. So basically, three types are all you have to know for log questions. So we'll jump right into the first type of questions here. An example of question is this one. This is what they've given you. This is the information. Okay. And then the question is to express this in terms of M and Q. When it comes to the questions which involves like express something in terms of something else, the first step is always to make sure that it's not in multiplication and division. You have to make sure that it's in either addition or subtraction only. So now you have to apply the three laws of logarithms that I have showed you all just now. I hope that you've taken notes so now you can refer back. Now we'll just jump right in. Log P 49 over 4P. So we have to make it into addition or subtraction only. We have to get rid of the division and multiplication. This is actually 4 times P. Okay, so we have log P, 49, it's just 49. And then once it's, it's below the division line, it's minus. Like even for P, it's minus, it's not plus. Because it's below the division line, it's minus. So, minus. P is also minus. Okay, some people will write uh, minus log. P for P which is wrong like let's say there's two things here a number and an unknown make sure to separate the number and the unknown so minus again log P P okay once you see log P P you can just cancel off and make it to 1 because it's one of the rules of logarithms so cancel off and this becomes 1 you know, the information that they give you is always just 2. But then one thing that you have to add yourself is log p, p equals to 1. Or whatever they give you, log 10, 7, then log 10, 10 equals to 1. This is the one information that you have to add in by yourself. Now, the next thing that you have to do is you have to relate the expression here to the information given here. So, 49, you have to divide 49 by 2 and see if you get a whole number. So 49 divided by 2, you won't get a whole number, so that's out. And then now you divide 49 divided by 7, and you get a whole number. So it means that 49 is a multiple of 7, so these two are related. So, what number do you have to write here to get 49? So you can just 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, and then 7 by 7, 49. So, it's just two sevens. So you can write 2 here. You know how this works, right? Okay. And then next is 4. 4, obviously you can relate it to the log P2. So log P is just copy down. And then 4 is 2 to the power of 2. So 2, 2. And then minus. Log PP is already cancelled and you can write 1. Just write one. Other thing that you have to remember when it comes to expressing something in terms of something else is that you cannot have the power off here. Everything has to be brought in front and you can never have the power of something here. So these two have to be brought in front. So this is the third law of logarithm. Move these two in front. Minus 1. Now once you're at this step, you can already see the similarity between this, uh, this expression and the information given. So log 2, 7 here is actually Q and then log P2 is M. So you can just sub in the information now. So... When you find this expression, this is your answer. 
So again, I hope you are following along at home and you can get this answer because as I said, this is a very popular question for SPM. They usually just ask this, express something in terms of something else, but the style of the questions are the same. So make sure that you actually get this. Now we'll proceed to the second type of logarithm question in SPM, which is to solve for x. And this is actually a passive question from 2000. So we'll proceed with this question by using one of the three laws of logarithms. So in the previous example, we changed everything from multiplication and division to addition and subtraction. We are going to do the opposite here. So when we were changing all the multiplication and division to addition and subtraction, we added all the log. So now to do the opposite, we just get rid of all the log here. So we just have 1 log 5 and then this you just write it down and then minus it is division once you change it to log it will be division so this log 5 is for this entire expression and then minus is below the division line so x and then this is actually like a huge bracket log 5 for the whole thing and then it goes to 2 Okay, when you come to this step, you use the uh, definition of logarithm to solve this. Remember what I said just now about the center one being the king? So this is the like king. So this center one doesn't move, it will just be brought, brought down. So we'll just write here x plus 1 over x. And then the small one becomes the big one. The big one becomes the small one. So the small one here is... 5 so it becomes a big one and then the small one the big one here is 2 it becomes the small one so after this you just solve it like a normal equation so you have your answer here 1 over 24 this is the second type of question for logarithm in SPM. And then now we have the third type of log questions, which is to solve for x, but with the change of basis. This question is actually a 2008 past year question, and it's a bit tough compared to all the others. Before you start doing the question, you have to analyze the question. So you see the three items here, like the three numbers here, are 5, 2, and 3. So can you find anything in common, like 5, 2, and 3, do they have anything in common? There's nothing in common between them. Like let's say you have 3 and 9, then maybe you can change to base 3, and then there's something in common at least. But then between 5, 2, and 3, there's nothing in common. So by analyzing the question, you realize that the only way to solve this is to change everything to log 10. Okay, so why log 10? This is because... The, in the calculator, the log that we press is for log 10. So we'll get the exact value of log 10 something if we change everything to log 10. Important to remember that before we change any base, we have to make sure that there's nothing in front of the log here. We have to like just make it into one expression without anything in the front here. So we'll move it away. change the basis, change everything to log 10. So here we have log 10. Here's the up and the down. So x minus 1 square over Okay, so I've changed all the bases now. Change everything to log 10 and then the one that is big here is up and then the small thing here will be long down below the division line and the same thing for here. Like the small one will go up and then the, the big one will go up and then the small one will come down. So this is how you change bases. So now that you have successfully changed the bases here, you have to identify which ones 
which are the values you can get from the calculator and which are the values that you cannot. So the thing that you cannot type into calculator is the unknown here. So everything which is not the unknown, you can solve first. Cross multiply to solve this first. So you move. Now you type these values into your calculator to get the value of all these. So you just type log 3 times log 5 divided by log 2. And you'll get 1.108. So you can write here. Log 3 times log 5 divided by log 2. Now how do you solve this? You have to use the definition of logarithm again. So like I said just now, the center one is the king, so it stays here. And then small becomes big, and then big becomes small. So you have 1.108. Now you have to find out this one. To find out this value, you just type in your calculator, and this symbol here, 1.108. And then you just type in your calculator, and then this symbol here, 1.108. So you get 12.82. Yeah, so now what you do is you solve this like you, the way you solve any other quadratic equation is the same. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 12.82. Now you move this over to this side, you get 12.82 minus 2x plus 1 equals to 12.82. Now you move this over to this side, After you've gotten this expression, you just type into your calculator and then you get two values of x. So the first x will be 4.58. And the second one is a negative one, negative 2.58. So the answer here is 4.58. You can just ignore the negative one. So you write down ignore. Why the negative one is ignored here is because the logarithm of negative number is undefined. So for log, whenever you find like a negative answer as a number, negative number as an answer, then it's like wrong. So you have to ignore the answer. So the answer is 4.58. If you are doing this at home, I hope you understand this question and you can get this answer. This is a bit of a tough one. But yeah, I basically covered the three types of questions in SPM and then I briefed you on the rules of logarithm and the law of logarithm and everything. Now you know everything that you need to know already. I really hope that you understood whatever I've been teaching all this while and I hope that you've been taking notes as well. This is the first video out of the three videos that I'll be making. The next two will be on indices and the next one will be on tricky questions of log because sometimes it gets trickier. Yeah. I really hope that my explanation has like helped you understood a bit of logarithm if not everything. If you found this video helpful, then give this video a like and then let me know in the comment section down below so that I know if this video has helped you guys. I would really appreciate it if you let me know. And also if you have any video ideas for me, like the videos that you would like to see from me in the future, then you can also comment them down below. And subscribe to me and ring the notification bell so that you get notified immediately when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!